Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to set up a Facebook shop. Facebook users exceeding 2.7 billion now spend an average of 40 plus minutes per day on this popular social network. So whether you're a solopreneur wanting to sell a few t-shirts online or a large business with an existing online retail presence via your own e-commerce store, it makes a lot of sense to sell your products on Facebook. The benefit of doing so is that you can use Facebook marketing to direct your prospects to your product listings and have them interact with you inside Facebook, which provides a frictionless experience without barrier or delay. Another advantage of setting up a Facebook store is that you can then go on to sell your products within your linked Instagram account, which gives you access to another huge marketing opportunity with Instagram hitting over 1 billion monthly users. This is certainly not to be overlooked. If you wanna learn how to link your Facebook store to your Instagram account and set up a product tag post on Instagram, I've also completed a video on that topic and we'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Now, a couple of things to note before we jump into this hands-on tutorial. One is that you need to set up a Facebook business page before you can create a shop and also the terms and conditions and rules and regulations for setting up a shop on Facebook may vary from country to country and are subject to change at any time. So if any of the information that I present today seems to be omitted from your Facebook interface, then check the marketing guidelines and terms and conditions links that I'll leave in the comments box below. Also, I'm demonstrating how to do all of this on a computer. So if at all possible, follow along on your Mac or Windows computer as the layout may be different on a mobile phone. So now that we've covered all of that, let's get started setting up your own Facebook shop. All right, so assuming that you've opened up your Facebook page, have a look on the left-hand side and see whether you can see a shop menu item in that left-hand menu. If you can, click on that right away. If you don't see a shop menu, you'll need to add it via the settings options. So on the top right-hand corner next to the help option, just underneath the blue bar, click on the settings option, and then you can navigate to the templates and tabs menu item, which is about three items down in the top left-hand menu. Click on it, and you've got a couple of options here to get a shop to appear on your front page. One is to select the shopping template in the top section. You can click edit the templates, browse through them and select shopping, and that will automatically place a shopping tab in the menu item. Or if you prefer, you can keep your existing Facebook layout and simply add a new tab and select the shop option. So, so despite which option you've selected, if you go back to your Facebook page, you should now see the shop menu item appear on the left-hand side just under your logo. So let's click on the shop option because this is the first time that you'll be using the shop, you'll be presented with two options. The first one is message to buy. If you select this option, it lets people send you messages to ask you questions and then arrange a purchase with you, which means that you'll need to provide them with banking information to transfer money and delivery information, etc. And it's very much a manual process. The next option is for those of you that already have some kind of online store and you wanna connect the items on that store to this Facebook shop. That option is check out on another website. This will send people to that website and allow them to complete the purchase including all the payment and shipping information. So depending on which way you wanna go there, you'll select either option. Now keep in mind, if you start with one option and then change your mind down the track, you'll need to completely remove your shop and reinstate it in order to start again, which means you'll lose all of the information that you had placed in there previously. So if by chance you selected message to buy, and then you discover that you wanna actually link products to your own e-commerce web store, go into the templates and tabs section in the settings area, remove the shop from the tabs, and then add it once more. 
Sometimes this doesn't work, so if that's the case, go to the shop settings cogwheel, which you'll find on the main layout of your shop page, just above the product grid. Click on the drop down arrow and select the delete shop option. Then if you return to your Facebook page, you'll be presented with that first screen where you can select which way you want to set up your shop once more. Anyway, having said that, I've selected check out on another website as my option for selling on the Facebook shop. So let's go ahead and set up our shop. Click on continue. The first option you will get is to decide which currency you're going to be transacting in. My store is in Australian dollars, so I'll select Australian for currency and then select save. And that's it, we've already set up our shop. At this stage, we don't have any products. So the first thing you wanna do is go in and add some products. You can see towards the bottom of the screen, there's an add product menu item, select on that. And here you can go in and add photos. You can add either a single photo or multiple photos, select the files or drag them into the central area and select use photos. You can then give your product a title, give it a price. If you have a sale price, you can select this product is on sale, click that button and you'll then get a regular price and a sales price option that you can enter. And this will show your prospective customer the regular price that you're selling this product for and the discounted price as well. The next field is description. So enter in a description that best describes that product. And then the most important one is your checkout URL, which actually refers to the product link on your e-commerce store. So navigate over to your online store, copy and paste the link of that product that appears in the web browser, and then paste it into checkout URL. And then you have the option to share that product immediately to make it visible to the public or make it hidden from the public. Obviously, if you're ready to sell that product right away, click on share this product to your page. So once you've done this, you're almost ready to go. You'll see a notification on the screen that you've just added your product. All products are processed before they're visible to your customers and you'll receive a notification when this is done, usually within a few minutes. And that's all there is to setting up your Facebook store. If you click on the shop tab on the left hand side, all your products will appear in the middle section. If you'd like to share your products on your timeline at any point of time to promote them, click on the share option that appears on the product thumbnail. You can key in a description about that product and then go ahead and share it to your Facebook feed. If a user then goes and clicks on that item, they'll be directed to that product and be able to purchase within a couple of clicks. If you need to make an edit to the product, click on the edit option next to the share button and you can go in and edit the product images, the description, the price, etc. You can even change the checkout URL if that's changed on your e-commerce store at any point. If you've built a shop that has lots of products, it might be easier to go into the manage your catalog section when you're going in to search up your products to edit them down the track. And there's an option just next to the search bar called manage your catalog, which you can click on and that will bring up a more detailed searchable option for your product list. You can go into the search bar and search by your product title, group ID or brand. And you can also create product sets, which lets you create groups of products, if you like, that are based on certain attributes. This is certainly going to be of use if you have lots of products of different brands, different styles, etc. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments box below. If you want to see more videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it, and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.